Trust Port Management. Start by downloading and running the installation file. The first thing to do is to confirm your acceptance of the license agreement. Then, choose the folder for installation, or confirm the default one. Similarly, define the location of the program's shortcut in the Start menu. Should you for any reason need to change port numbers used by the software, you can do it now by checking Change Default Port Settings. There are three user accounts for the console. An admin has full privileges over the software. A power user has the same privileges except for creating new admins. An auditor can only view the settings, not change them. Type and confirm a password for the admin and for the auditor account. Initial settings are ready, and all you need to do now is to wait a while until the installation is finished. Full completion of the installation requires a restart of the computer. You can do it right after the installation, or later on. Trust Port Management is a web-based console. It will open in your default web browser. Let's log in as admin this time. We type the username, admin, and the password, whatever password you set during installation. This is what the main page looks like. It shows a summary about all the computers administered using this installation of Trust Port Management. In the top left corner, notice some quick statistics about managed endpoint computers. Underneath, you can see a summary of the update status of the server. If you would like to update the software, take a look at the bottom left corner. In the right part of the page, statistics regarding endpoint computers are available. If you click on the Manage tab now, a list of managed stations will open. Thank you for watching this and see you in one of our other training materials.